Hi everybody, this is Melody. I said I would show everyone some ribbons and bows the way I do them. This is for Monday's boot camp and I'm doing it today to make sure that all of those overseas who will reach Monday before us here in the States can give it a good view before their time is, is up. So uh, the first one I'm going to do is a basic, I guess what you'd call a package ribbon. I'm going to load two colors from a one straight stroke cake onto my half inch angled flat. Same type of brush you might use for roses. This is a little bit smaller, just half inches. I love it for ribbons and bows. I start by making two of the same shape which angle in from the outside like so top of that ribbon gets a little piece like you might do on the top of a one stick rose, just a little loop, the darker color on the inside. I take that brush and I just make a swipe downward with both colors showing. Now the last part are the little tails. Do them this way and I like the darker color on the inside. You could leave that bow just like it is or you can go back in with your liner brush in black or white. I'll use black here to make it real visible. Trace out that loop at the top. There's the edge of the ribbon coming down. Top of the part that ties in the middle. Same on the other side here. I like to show little flicks here that kind of show the wrinkle in the fabric where the bow is drawn in. And I usually leave that one just like it is. You could add some highlights if you wanted to. The next one I'm going to show is more of a banner type of a ribbon. Same flat half inch angled brush with a uh, three colors from a one stroke this time. You can use just white or any color you like. I like the one strokes for a little bit of dimension. And here we're going to make an arched shape, sort of like a rainbow. And then we need just offset slightly below where that one was, a small square shape that comes from below that first one. We need that to overlap a little bit there. Same thing here. Small square shape. Add a little bit of your darker bottom color there. One more of that same thing and I'm going to make it pointy at the bottom. You don't have to do that. I just like to do that. Make sure you have that piece that goes underneath. That's going to be important in the next step. Okay, there's your ribbon. I'm going to use my liner brush again, my smaller brush. <clears throat> use it in black. And here's where you're going to show that this ribbon folded back on itself. From the top here, where you trace the top fold of the ribbon, you need to go backward in a small triangle shape. That will show this piece of ribbon folded back on itself. And this area can be darkened up a little bit. You can do it in the same step or you can go back and fill it in with maybe some star blends or something. So again, a small triangle shape right here will show that ribbon folding back on itself. Here's where I did those little points when I laid down the color. Finish up on the top. You can write something you like in there. I'll just put mom. Did that kind of rushed. Okay, I just blotted that off. That was a bit too wet. So I'm going to go back in. Just write the letters in there. This ribbon also you can go in with some, a little bit of white. 
what you want to do is just highlight where the ribbon would be the highest with a little bit of white. I like to just kind of drag it in that way and blot it. Okay, and on these pieces here, you can do something like that. I would actually probably do this before the lettering. And you can take your darker brush if you like and go right behind where that ribbon folds over. Give a little bit of depth by adding some dark stripes there. Those steps aren't necessary, but they add a little bit of depth. And again, you can darken in these little triangles where the ribbon folded over. And that is my little banner ribbon that I do. Okay, and the next one I do is a cancer awareness ribbon, something like a, maybe at a breast cancer event or something like that. I also load two colors from a one-stroke cake for this one. Here I'm going to use pink and white. It really ends up being pink and lighter pink. On my half-inch one-stroke brush again. And here I need a little arched piece, sort of like we did on this one needs to come to a point at the bottom in both directions. I like to have my lighter color at the top. I'm just going to blot that off a bit because it was a bit too wet. So darker color on the bottom, lighter color on top, arch like that. Okay, and then the color that was at the top or the part of the brush that was at the top goes on the inside from here. So we're going to make a swoop down to make the bottom of that ribbon. Same thing here, flip your brush over, lighter color in my case, on the bottom. Stop at that first piece of ribbon, come out from under it on the other side. I usually make one shorter than the other just for interest. And at the bottom you can give it a small bit of a swoop as you come around. Okay. Now, to outline this, <clears throat> just quick outlining of the same shapes that you painted in. And you can leave it just at that, or you can go in again and highlight and darken shadows. Typically at a fast paced event, I might just leave it like this, draw some stars around it or often someone might want a loved one's name written on the ribbon. I'll do that. But here, this is an example of I would shadow on this side because this ribbon is coming from underneath. Just do a bit of shading like that. Blot it out. Both sides at the top are underneath. Okay, something like that. Add a little bit of white to the top piece. If it's a satin ribbon, you have a bit of shine there to the end of the bottom piece. That's how I would highlight that. Again, try to make that highlight before you write the name on it. Not like I did the last one. Like that. to everyone's favorite fancy cat. I'm going to use two colors on my one stroke flat one inch brush again. I love this brush for ribbons. I really don't use anything else. And I'm going to load that up with my lighter color on the tip, on the pointy tip, and my darker color on the back of the brush. 
placing the dark side down, make a loop this way, fill that in. Same thing here, opposite side. So I have two loops that look relatively the same. And then I take just the tip where that lighter color was and I draw a circle in the middle without the shading that's on those side pieces. At this point, if I were putting any glitter on, this is where I would do it. I don't have any in reach here, but I would put some glitter there. Then I would take my black liner brush. This is a circle in the middle. It's not a square like a different ribbon might be. These pieces on the end are kind of slightly pointed off, but they're not really pointy wedge pieces. I need that little loop in there. So it looks just like everyone's favorite cat. There's that bow. That's very cartoony. It doesn't take any shading, shadowing. It's two-dimensional. I'm going to try to squeeze one more in for you here. That's everyone's favorite mouse. We all like this mouse. Her bow can be a little bit of a challenge. I load usually just one color for this one. She um, typically has a red bow with white dots, so that's what I typically do, but sometimes I'll ask child what color they want. <clears throat> this one gets a high point on these bow pieces on the side and then a small one at the bottom. This one to me looks a lot like a butterfly. Make a high point and a small loop at the bottom. And the divider in the middle of this is rectangular and it's small. It's real small compared to these high ribbon pieces on the side. Okay. Again, if I were doing some glitter, I would add it here. Actually, I do have some red in hand here. I would put red glitter, press it right into the wet paint. So it's nice and sparkly before that dries. Sometimes if I'm using glitter, I won't add the white polka dots. That's up to you. Take a nice, fat, round brush. This one is a number eight. Load it up in the white real good. So the tip is really saturated with color. Nice, thick white. Just press in big polka dots. You should put a whole one on the little bow and maybe a little partial one there. Okay, starting to look like our favorite mouse's bow. Now I'll go in with that black liner brush. And on the side here, usually on just one side, give a little indication of the fold of that bow trace out this rectangle, little flicks on each side of the center piece. This does get almost a sharp point there. I don't do the inside of the bow on the other side usually. Just do it on one side. There's Miss Mouse's bow. Between two nice black round ears, that's beautiful. So again, we have a pretty standard typical bow like for a package. We have a ribbon that you can put a name on. Put that over a heart, nice tattoo heart. We have a cancer awareness type ribbon. Our favorite kitty ribbon. Our favorite mouse bow. And I think that covers a lot of different styles of ribbons and bows. You guys can practice these or uh, 
show your own. Everybody have fun. Can't wait to see all the designs on Monday. Bye-bye.